Hi, this is Katie Thoreau here with Discover Double Bass, and you're about to watch a preview of my course, From Beginner to Bandstand. For this lesson, we're going to talk about learning and memorizing tunes. And I don't just mean for a little bit, I mean forever. And we're going to take a look at a song called Scrapple from the Apple and do a really simple technique of going measure by measure and then connecting each measure as we go along. And I'm, I'll explain and demonstrate that for you. And we started our whole course in the key of F. So just for me, I like to kind of stay in that key, so Scrap It From The Apple is also in the key of F. So for this exercise, you're going to need 10 pieces of something, something small, like coins or paper clips or M&Ms, something, uh, just to help you keep track of this, of this exercise. So I've chosen Scrap It From The Apple, and I'm just going to play the melody for you um, at a comfortable tempo where I kind of want to end up at. Four, one. So that's the first eight bars of Scrapple from the Apple. And I picked this as, a, as an exercise for you because it's uh, a 32 bar form, which is A, A, B, A, which those A's repeat. So you really only need to learn eight bars of this song, so it makes it super easy to start learning this technique. So we, before we go to learn the melody, you've either written it down by transcribing it or gone to a reliable source of someone who knows the song or um, a reliable book with the song in it. Because I do like to look at it while I'm playing just so I have a visual of going measure by measure like we're going to do. So we're going to start with measure one, and we're going to play it slowly, 10 times perfectly, at 60 beats per minute. And each time we've done it right, we're going to slide one of our pieces of 10 over to the side of our music stand, or wherever we're practicing. Three, four, one. So I get to move. I'm using coins today, so I'm going to do it. I did it right once. One. Did it right again. Four, one. I made a mistake, but that's okay. In this exercise, we want to play it ten times perfectly. So I've done it twice perfectly, but I messed up on the third time. So I'm going to start all the way back at number one. So I'm going to slide my 10 pieces back over and start from the beginning until I can play it 10 times all the way through. Even if I've gotten to the ninth time and I make a mistake, I go all the way back to the beginning. Because this exercise is really training our hands and our mind um, to have this melody really ingrained in us. After I've done the first measure, logically I do the second measure just like I did the first measure. Four, one. Did it right. So after I've done that perfectly 10 times in a row, I go back to measure one and I connect it to measure two and do that 10 times all together. Four, one. did it right and it goes on and on like that and then we start with measure three four <laughs> I messed up on the first one so I didn't even get to put a coin over three four one Put a coin over. Four, one. Two. 
And once I've done 10 right in a row perfectly, I do the same thing. I go back to measure one. So I'm going to do this just one more time just so you can hear the process and how it works and how each measure connects. So I'm going to start at, now I've done measures one alone, measure two alone, then added measure one and two, then I did measure three alone, and now I can add measures one through three. Four, one. So I've done that all, pretend like I did that 10 times perfectly in a row. And then you go on to do the rest of the melody. And our goal is to, once you've done all of that, go back to the first measure and inch up, start to inch up the metronome. So I'm gonna inch it up to, um, up 10 clicks. Up, we were started at 60 and now we're gonna go to 70. So I'm going to do the same exact thing at 70 beats per minute. And you're going to see how different that starts to feel automatically, just playing it a little bit faster. Four, one. And if I make a mistake, I go back to the beginning. So I did it a few times. I did it a few times really well, and then I made a mistake, so I gotta go back to the beginning. So this is an exercise that you will keep doing over and over again when you wanna learn and memorize songs. And each time you do it, uh, you just inch up the metronome. So my final goal for this song is 120 beats per minute. Um, and I might do, wanna do that in two weeks or a month. It's however, uh, however much time it takes for you. So my final goal is to play it here. To play it at this tempo. So we're gonna pretend that I already did all of that work, each measure at a time, 10 times a piece. And this is the final tempo I'd like it at. And again, to get there, I'm playing each measure, one measure at a time. It sounds tedious, but I promise you'll remember this song forever, or any song you go to learn. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about my course at discoverdoublebass.com, click the link below.